Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and there, man, there's so much white in this video that this could be a Cottonelle commercial, but what we're getting into is the Brother GX6750 Retro Review. I almost don't even know why I'm calling it a Retro Review, because it seems like one of the newest kind of typewriters out there. So this is your um, go-away case, your stowaway case going away. There's a there's a handle on the other side of the unit so this is relatively portable and these things are popular with some places with some people uh, they want to make up certain notes to look really nice like they've been done on typewriters so I, I know people I know resellers that sell these things to people in the city that buy them for fashion statements but I digress super cool but one of the most cool parts about this unit is the friggin' things possess. What's going on? It's too close to Halloween. I'm freaking out. 2020 is just too crazy. I gotta get out of here. <sighs> but seriously, though, typewriters typing themselves is so freaking crazy. It's almost like remote access to computers. As a user, you never quite get used to it. Okay, so this display, Daisy Wheel Electronics. Increase the typing speed and accuracy 65 characters 12.87 uh, paper capacity Word out for erasing single word. That is definitely very cool Okay, so in order to get the unit to type by itself you have to hit alt in this back Space at the same time now if you want to use the eraser You hit this button right here it raises the white out basically and then it tries to stamp out with some different le levels of success this one uh, yeah I've seen I've seen it do a better job I've seen it do a better job but still not bad I don't think the youngsters these days would appreciate what it took to thread one of these things you have to line it up here you want to pull that thing back to open up the whatchamacallit and then you need to bring this oh my daughter's looking for me and then you need to roll this thing up here you need to make sure that yeah you flick that back put it up like that and then the craziest thing is that once you get all the way over the edge okay so i went all the way over the other side i have to enter in order to go down to the other line and word processor of course it would automatically do that but it hasn't here, and if I continue doing it, then I would get ink on the roller. So that's something interesting you got to think about. Now, the biggest issue anybody runs into with one of these is going to have to deal with a daisy wheel. There's a engaged and a not so engaged way. If you pull back, it's not going to work. Here you get your daisy wheel. One of the really cool things about the daisy wheel is it has this uh, magnifying glass on it. If you're having a hard time seeing maybe that'll help you out a little bit but it goes in like this that's a major issue that most people have here's the type of cart we got of course it's one of the newer ones i'm not seeing a number on this hopefully that's it right there come on autofocus there you go good job oh and it looks like the type of thing that you can in fact go back and see uh Whatever anybody said, whoa. Because it records it. I still can't get over that. That is just so cool. It's like it's haunted or something. It's so cool. You guys, you don't even get how cool this is. It's amazing. So as far as I can tell, this unit came out in 1994, which definitely was about the end of the typewriter era. But there are still some holdouts like this one. Like the Smith Corolla, it's very easily tilted on its side and picked up with its uh, hand area, hand rail, whatever you might want to call it. And back here we have an easy storage, very nice and easy storage for the cable which, once again, 
is very nice. Definitely portable. I'd almost like to do a, uh, a test to see what it would take to break one of these, but uh, I think it's too old. I think it's uh, it's definitely retro. It's definitely very nice. I like it. And it's beautiful. What can I say? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Once again, I'm Neff from Nestech, but it's like and subscribe if you like the stuff. Always appreciate it. And as always, folks, take care of each other.